Hi guys, thank you for downloading the Photoshop Power Pack actions. With the new update of Photoshop CC 2014, all traditional panels are no longer supported, which means the Easy Panel will no longer work. However, this is only a small inconvenience. Since all of the actions are still compatible with Photoshop, we still have full functionality of the panel, but without the buttons. In this video, I'll show you how to install the actions, how to run the luminosity mask actions, and how to overcome some challenges that people sometimes experience when first working with luminosity masks. Firstly, go to the folder where the action zip file is stored. Unzip the file. Open up Photoshop and open your Actions dialog. If you don't see it, go to Window, Actions. Now copy your Powerpack folder to a location that you prefer, like in your documents. I'll keep mine here now just for demonstration purposes. Select all of the files and simply drag them into your Actions dialog. You should see them appear now. If you don't have this option, just open your Actions menu, go down to Load Actions, find your actions, choose one and press load. Do this for the remaining actions as well. Now let's look at some challenges we face when we first start working with luminosity masks. Firstly, let's run our mask action. We can do this by pressing the arrow next to JM Luminance Masks and choosing Generate Luminance Mask. Then we simply go down to play. This is the first challenge some people face with actions. They get these dialogues which ask them to confirm each step. The action should run smoothly without this happening. So let's undo this. To change this, we simply need to press the square here to the left of the action and then press OK. Now we can run the action again and this time it runs smoothly. Going to our channels, you can see the various masks. Sometimes, for some people, the masks are inverted. For example, the Brights 1 mask looks like the Darks 1 mask and vice versa. To change this, we first need to delete our masks. And now go to our Quick Mask Mode button and double click on it. In this dialog, make sure Masked Areas is selected. Now run the masks again and everything should be fine. Finally, some people complain of seeing a pink screen when they try to use luminosity masks. This happens because we haven't fully switched from our channels palette to our layers panel. Let me show you what I mean. I'll select any mask by holding control and left clicking, and then I'll go to our layers panel and open a curves layer. The screen, as you can see, has turned pink. Before opening any adjustment, we must first select a layer to work with. I'm going to undo this by returning to our channels palette and deselecting the mask. So let's do this again. This time I'm going to select the background layer and now open up a curves layer. Again, the screen goes pink. This is because the background layer is locked. Undoing all of this again, we'll select the mask one more time, go to our layers panel, click on our background layer and drag the padlock on this layer to the trash can. Now we can open up an adjustment layer with no pink screen appearing. And that's it. Thank you once again for downloading the Photoshop Power Pack and I hope it makes your workflow much easier. Until next time, I'll see you around.